Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be here with all of you as I usually am. We're going to make our own forest. Yay! So uh, here I have a picture of a lake. This is a lake. And all these trees are what you're gonna be cutting out today and a lake. So this is what you need, okay? Really, really quick. You need some green paper. You need some light blue paper. You need a dark green paper. If you don't have dark green and you have a crayon or a magic marker, you can make dark green. Make some dark green. You're gonna need a brown crayon and a pair of scissors and glue. Awesome, okay. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. And uh, you can do it on whatever paper you wanna do it on, okay? I've already done one in my notebook, um, in my sketchbook already. So I'm not gonna uh, do another one in my sketchbook. I'm just gonna put my sketchbook to the side and I'm going to get a piece of brown paper. Piece of brown paper. Okay. And so here's my piece of brown paper. And I don't wanna do the whole sheet. So I'm just going to half it. Then I can use a brown sheet for something else. So I'm just going to piece it down the middle here. So while we're going to be working on this, I don't care what color your trees are. If you don't have any blue or green, if you want to make pink trees or red trees or brown trees or orange trees, it's up to you, whatever you'd like to do, OK? So I have my little half sheet here. and. I already have my blue paper, and I'm gonna cut it out like a jelly bean, okay? So if you wanna make a round lake, you can make a round lake. If you wanna make a palette lake, you can make a palette lake. And a palette lake is kinda of shaped like a palette, kinda of like that, okay? And you know what, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm, I'm gonna draw it a little bit darker so you can see. It's a shape of a palette, I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, a palette, like you paint on. Like a palette you paint on. Okay. But you can make a circle if you wanted to. You can make a jelly bean. Most people do jelly beans. Jelly bean. I just, I just decided to do a palette. And I'm just going to cut out my paper. I just love the way scissors sound on Painted paper when you cut it, it's very relaxing to me. Painted paper. Okay, so I have my little lake here. That's my lake right there. And I'm just gonna glue it down. And I'm just gonna put my lake down right here. There we go. So there's my lake. And so now we're gonna get into making these trees. And these trees are so easy to do because the only shape you have to make is a triangle. That's it. You can make a big triangle, you can make a small triangle, you can make a fat triangle, you can make a skinny triangle, you can make a short triangle, you can make a tall triangle. All you need is a bunch of triangles out of different paper. So the first paper you wanna start with is your background paper. And it needs to be darker than all the rest of the papers that you're gonna use, okay? So you need a dark piece of paper. Now, if you have a dark green crayon, you can, you can color a piece of paper with the dark green crayon or magic marker. You can uh, color it very, very dark. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut some random triangles. And just watch me so you can get the hang of it. Watch me spin it so. And you can make short ones, you can make tall ones, you can make long ones. Whatever floats your boat up, find your lost remote. It's like making M's or W's in your paper. That's really what it's like. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got. You all can take a look at it and see what I have. This is what I have, okay? And I'm just gonna put that right back there like that. 
Now the nice part is if you want to curve it, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just curve it just a little bit. And remember, Miss Vanessa doesn't throw away any paper, so I keep all those little sheets of paper, those little little things that fall off there. So that's that's my background there. That's what I'm going to use. Okay, and I have a little piece of paper that I can glue, excuse me, on, excuse me. I burped, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not nice. <laughs> we did not hear it. Okay. The thing about tissue paper and painting tissue paper is very hard to paint. And so I'm going to now place it down in the background there. And I'm just putting all my darker green pieces in the back there as far as trees are concerned. And then I'm gonna put some light ones back there as well. But um, right now I'm just focusing on all the dark elements. You know, you guys are building a portfolio, all of you, because you've done all of these projects and now you have a portfolio that you can show people of the things that you've done in this class. I so enjoy being here with all of you. I really, really do. This this makes my week when I'm when I'm with you all. I really look forward to it. So I'm putting in the trees. If you if you want, I'm planting my trees. <laughs> but as you can see, these are not perfect, are they? Look at that. Are they perfect? They're not, they're not perfect, and I don't really care. I'm, I'm just having fun. So the next one um, I'm going to put in there are this, are this color. I'm going to do the trees in this color. So I'm going to do tall ones, little ones, big ones, wide ones, little short ones, baby trees. I think this is the forest where the three bears live, honestly. Do the three bears live in your farm? Or, or, or will Hansel and Gretel got lost? I don't know. <laughs> okay, and so I'm just gluing them down. And the thing is, is that you want to make it more dense at the top and then more sparse at the bottom. So you want to kind of fill up the top with as many as you want. Now, some of you will probably go through this really, really quickly, and others of you will take your time. Again, this is not a competition. So I really want you to kind of think about where you're going to put your trees, but don't think about it too hard. Just think about where you want it to be a little bit more dense in your forest and where you want it to be a little bit more loose. So we are putting down our trees here. And this is even a paper, like I told you, I don't throw away any of my papers. I save all of them because I can get a couple of um, triangles out of this. So it's coming together, as you can see. The forest! And so you want to put some other trees of other different colors in there. Not all the same color green, but you can, if that's what you have. But um, if you're able to get other paper, and that's why Miss Vanessa, when she paints and she does um, her, her, um, her collage, I, I make lots of different papers. I make a bunch of them.
uh, collage artists, that's what we do. We look for other papers and we collect other papers and we find the papers that make us feel good and the papers that we enjoy and we love and we and we keep stacks of them. So on the weekends when I'm not with you guys or on Saturdays when I'm not teaching class, uh, I come in early in, on Saturday morning after I have my Lucky Charms. Yes, I, I love Lucky Charms. Uh, after I have my lucky, lucky Charms or my Cheerios, I come into my office and I just paint paper so that I have paper to share. And so I'm just cutting out these little trees and it's because I have other, other paper. Okay, and so I'm putting in some lighter trees. Just a few more I'm gonna put in here. Now your homework tonight is I want you to finish your forest, but I want you to put in one odd tree, one tree that really kind of sticks out. It can be an orange tree, it can be a red tree. It could be a blue tree. It could be whatever color tree you want to put in there. But it, it needs to be an odd tree. A tree that, mm, wow, where'd that tree come from? I'm excited about the odd tree. Okay, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why we're doing the odd tree. Yes. We live in a world where everybody wants to sometimes look like each other, act like each other, be like each other. And I, I often tell people, you know, it's not really good for you to always want to be like somebody else, you know? Um, Ariel Grande, she's nice and she's sweet and she's talented, but um, you're also important. Boy or girl, you're also important. What you can do may not be out there in front of people yet, but you never know what will happen. And so uh, when we kind of measure ourselves by everybody else, we do ourselves a disservice. And so that's why I put that odd tree in there. I, that odd tree can still be as beautiful as all the rest of the trees that are there. Okay? Beautiful. And, and, and that's the beauty in doing doing this particular um, thing is I want you to put something different out there. My fingers are very sticky. Are your fingers sticky? I'm gonna have to wipe them off a little bit. Okay, but I got my I got my little thing going here, and I have this real dark blue here, and I think I'm gonna put a blue tree in here. And you know what I like to think? I like to think that I'm the blue tree. <laughs> I am I am the blue tree that kind of sticks out. I'm gonna put my blue tree right there. And now I'm gonna take my magic marker here and I'm just gonna put trunks in the trees and they're very easy to do. You know how to make the number one, right? So you're just gonna put one all over your page. That's all you're gonna do. Everywhere you can see a tree that has a, a little bit that's showing, just put a trunk on it. And you know what I can do with my white pencil, and I have a white pencil here? I could go in and put some water marks in there some little waves. And if you wanted, you could put a little boat on there if you wanted to. I think I would just like to put some, some little shade under my trees. You can go up there and put a sun out there if you wanted to. Your people are so pretty. 
your students are safe. Yes, they are. They are amazing. All of them. Every last one of them. You guys do amazing work. Your moms and your caretakers often send me little notes about you all and how much you enjoy the class. And I'm so glad that you all enjoy the class. That means everything to me and Miss Coy. We really want you to tell your friends about it as well. Yeah. So here's my finished piece. And I'm just gonna hold it up real close so you can see everything that I did. Okay, I don't care where you are and where you're from. I want all of you to know how special you are to me and Miss Coy. You all are so very special and you all matter and you all shine.